back to present ancient Chinese pantomime just for fun of it, Jello tonight. He unable to tell if this Jello is straw belly, last belly. Honorable Kure, the most refreshing, much loved by eager to be educated by conquerors. Would you stop being so uptight? You're like one of those Asian Americans who fought in Vietnam. Like Asian people. Because you saved cow. Look at that. I work really hard because I'm. Thank you for coming. The Chinese guy is always a smart cow. Harvesting people's cows. Yeah. I'm so happy. I'm so happy today. Where are you going? You know those stereotypes of Asian people in media, newspapers? movies and books and all that. Some of the stereotypes I've heard specifically about Hmong people are gangsters, 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 and more gangsters. We have a big family and we get pregnant early. I kept a bunch of jabbering off of my life. I'm sorry. In an old New York Times article, they referenced Hmong people as the most primitive refugee group in America, an illiterate tribal group, and insular. And when you keep hearing it over and over and over again, sometimes you kind of start to believe it. My parents, they had this video cassette and it was basically a movie about Hmong people going hunting in Laos. And when I was younger, I would watch like bits and pieces of the movie and I would just look at like the hunting process and the gutting process and the cleaning. I would see Hmong people eating on the ground, using banana leaves as their plate. And I'd just be like, oh my gosh, it's so like savageness backwards. I mean, I wouldn't actually say it's like savagery, but I would kind of think along the lines of that. And when you think about it, you got people do the same thing. They also have hunting shows where they shoot down ducks and clean and gut their deer and stuff like that. But the question is, why was I so disgusted with the Hmong hunting videos? Well, the answer is ding, 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 that's correct internalized racism. As people of color are victimized by racism, we internalize it. That is, we develop ideas, beliefs, actions, and behaviors that support or collude with racism. I would just like to note that internalized racism is a survival tactic, but it is a very damaging one. So I was with my aunt the other day and we were watching those Hmong hunting YouTube videos. And it just brought back memories of my younger self being very internalized racism-y. I mean, that's not a word. But that's one reason why I wanted to make this video because I realized there is a lot of self-hatred growing up as a person of color in the United States. And I just wanted to kind of explain to those who are also going through the same thing, but like what is going on? Like, where does this stem from? And why do we think this way? And the second reason why I wanted to make this video is because I was very intrigued with the process of creating those shacks made out of banana leaves and wood. So I decided, you know what? That looks really fun and how hard can it be, right? Holy moly, there's so many bees up in there. Ow, stupid mosquito. My head itches. So about like right here. No, because you hold it in your throat and I can eat your door. This is the structure. And we made two holes. Whoa, this house is farming. I'm just scared of spiders because. Let's see how strong this banana leaf is. So this one, I only need about half of this one, so I'm gonna break this one. 
This is hard. Oh my God, I'm actually using like all my strength. Look at it. Can you see it? It is so strong. Wow. Okay, got it, yay. But dang. One of the most gratifying things you can do as a person of color is to realize that your ancestors weren't savages. White history books have always depicted people of color as spear-throwing, AIDS-having, mutt-hut-living, rodent-eating savages. It's easy to feel bad about yourself if this is all you're listening to. But when you actually do the research and learn not just about your people, but about other people of color and their histories, you start to understand how intelligent, brave, and creative our ancestors were. 